Right, so friends, we are here to witness this uh, holy marriage between Alan and Enhui this evening. And uh, though we are not in the church, but God is everywhere and God is surely here in our midst. And he's pleased of this uh, holy union of a man and a wife to become husband and wife. So as we come together to witness this uh, beautiful occasion, I invite us to just bow our heads. Let us pray to God. Dear Father, we thank you for this beautiful day, this beautiful evening that you have gathered us here to witness the holy marriage of Alan and Hui. We ask that you bless them even as we celebrate uh, their wedding tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now I'm going to do the declaration of intention which means that I will ask Alan as well as Hen Hui of their intention to be married to each other. So I will begin by charging Alan first. Okay. Alan, would you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others keep only to her which means you are to stay faithful uh, so will. long as the two of you are alive uh. okay so long as you both shall live i will okay. Okay. so the uh, anhui would you have this man to be your husband to live together in holy marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to him, so long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. Now we will move to the exchange of the marriage vows. Now I'm going to ask uh, the both of them to face each other. They're going to hold hands. Okay, they, are, they are supposed to memorize the vows, okay, but we can be forgiving tonight uh, because we want them to enjoy themselves uh, for this wonderful evening and uh, not to be stressed. Now, it's the tradition of the husband to say the vow to the wife first. So, Helen, uh, you will begin. So, uh, I'd like you to begin uh, to say your vow to her. Mm -hmm. I, Helen, take you, Helen, to be my wife, to have and to hold. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, I pledge you my day. I and Wei take, take you, Ellen, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, and in help, to love and to cherish, to them do us a part. According to God's holy ordinance, I pledge in my faith. Very good. Okay. Yeah, you continue to hold hands, huh? Face each other. Okay, the wedding ring symbolizes um, the union of a man and woman, they are joined as one flesh. In other words, uh, in a traditional marriage, when the husband married the wife, he's supposed to leave his household and join together with the wife to start a family uh, of their own. So the wedding ring is uh, where the husband and the wife they will put on uh, first to tell people that they are no more available. Uh, they are already uh, married. Huh? Okay, and also to remind them constantly of their, the other half. Uh, they are to love, to honor, and to cherish uh, one another. So the wedding ring is a very uh, significant symbol of uh, marriage. So I'm going to ask 
uh, all of us to just uh, bow our heads because we're going to ask God to bless the wedding ring. Okay, hold hands together. No? Hold hands. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to pray and ask God uh, to bless the wedding ring. Bless, O oh Lord, the blessing of these rings that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in your favor. To Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we will have the exchange of the wedding rings. So in the wedding tradition, we will have the husband to say the uh, wedding vows, the, the rings, to give the ring to the wife. Okay, so In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding them, with this ring I marry you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Exchange their marriage vows and also they have exchanged the wedding ring and they have made the vows to each other to love and to cherish and to stay faithful to each other uh, till death do them apart. It's my honor and uh, joy to present to you Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Alan Go. Now I'm going to invite uh, the two witnesses to come, uh, Mr. Go and Mrs. Go. Both of them are the uh, witnesses. We're going to have the signing of the marriage cert. Okay, so I'm going to ask the uh, um, Alan to sign on it first. Huh? Can you sign on top of the lunch? Then Mr. Go to Witnesses to face the front, we're going to take a picture huh, of this uh, presentation of the marriage uh, certificate to the couple. Okay, can you take a picture? Okay, right. Uh, uh, how do you God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit bless, preserve and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor looked upon you and so filled you with all special benedictions and love that you may so live together in this life and in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. Father, we ask that you bless this time of fellowship and this time of uh, coming together to celebrate the wedding of Adam and Anwei. We ask that you also bless the food that it will benefit our bodies as we partake there. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. Mm -hmm.